Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how do you optimize your product pages to be successful with Google Shopping Ads? Now, when it comes to Google Ads, it's a whole different platform, like I always say, compared to Facebook Ads. And when it comes to optimizing your Google Shopping Ads, believe it or not, a lot of the optimization for the ads themselves is done on your Shopify store and your product pages rather than on Google Ads itself. And I'm going to be explaining why in the video shortly, but it's, it's unlike Facebook where if you want to optimize your Facebook ads, you would directly go onto your Facebook business manager account and play around with the ad copies and the ad creatives, maybe launch a few different audiences and all of this stuff. But that's mostly done on the business manager and your Facebook ads account itself. With Google ads, you're spending a lot of your time on your product pages and on your Shopify store because some of the smallest changes on your product pages or your website in general for Google Shopping ads make the biggest difference. So that's one reason why you're going to want to stick until the end of this video to know exactly how to become more successful with Google Shopping ads, how to optimize your product pages so that you're spending less on ads themselves and getting more inside your pocket. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. So how to properly optimize your product pages for Google Shopping Ads. Now, the first thing that I want to say that you have to do in order to really even get a benefit from optimizing your product pages for shopping ads is smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now that you've hopefully done that, the real first step to optimizing your Google Shopping Ads is understanding something called the quality score. Because quality score determines your entire success with how well your ads rank among your competitors and how many sales you get and how much profit you get from your Google ads themselves. So what exactly is a quality score? Quality score is basically similar to the customer feedback score that is currently available on Facebook, where the ranking is out of five for the Facebook feedback score. And if you drop below a two, your ads start getting penalized and all sorts of stuff. But with Google ads, the quality score is determined on a lot of different factors. And it's not necessarily directly related to how well you treat your customers or what they think of your website. Instead, what the quality score basically is determined on is how well your product pages are optimized, what kind of product you're showing, and if the product that you're currently showing is getting shown to the right audience or not. In addition to that, some other things that affect the quality score are what kind of bid you have on your shopping campaigns or what images you use for the products themselves. So as you can see, all of these things on the back end, specifically the product pages, determines this quality score. So what you want to realize is that the quality score and the success of your Google Shopping ads is all kind of interrelated, simply because improving your quality score basically equals automatically optimizing your product pages. If you optimize your product pages, your quality score improves as a result. It's a cause and effect relationship between these two. So if you're kind of getting confused as to what the quality score is, just know that you need to improve your product pages in order to have a better quality score. And that will thus result in you getting your ad shown to the right audience and getting shown more often so that you can get more sales profitably. But when it comes to the product page optimization itself, in order to actually increase this quality score, there are a lot of things that you need to be implementing and focusing on on your product page. And the things I've listed out in the rest of the Google Doc is basically in order of importance. So the first thing that I'm going to reveal is the most important, and that is what title you have for your products themselves. Now, I know if you're coming from Facebook, you'd never really paid much attention to the title as long as it accurately described the product without being too long. It was completely fine for Facebook. But with Google, you actually need to be a little bit more strategic in how you decide your titles. Because one thing I've realized after using Google ads and spending so much money on Google ads is 70% to 80% of your success with how well you do with Google shopping ads is determined from the title period. And it's not just because of what the customer customers see when they're shopping for products on Google. It's more because of the algorithm of Google and Google itself kind of deciding where to show your ad to. If you properly optimize your title, Google Shopping Ads has a much, much easier time understanding who to show the products to and when to show it. Because if Google starts showing your products for the most general search terms, it's not going to be too profitable in the end because those general search terms often aren't too direct and specific. For example, if you were selling a wireless printer that is made by a specific company and you want that company's name in front of that search term wireless printer, it would kind of be useless to just rank for the word printer because the word printer can have hundreds of thousands of different of kinds of printers out there. And when a specific individual searches the term printer, they're not really sure as to what kind of printer they want. And this can lead to a lot of window shoppers simply because they're just kind of looking around trying to get an idea of what kind of printer they want. And the best websites which actually benefit 
benefit from these search terms is big websites like Amazon, Target, Walmart, because they have a wide variety of different printers or just in general, a wide variety of different items where if a person just goes onto their website for the search term printer, they're more likely to purchase something as well because not only do they have one kind of printer, they have thousands of different kinds of printers ranging from wireless to wired printers. So it is much more beneficial for those websites to rank for these general terms, not you. So that's why it is so important to focus on the title. But exactly how do you even optimize your title when it comes to Google Shopping as well? Can you do to then improve this quality score so that you rank better and win more? More customers well one and most important thing when it comes to the titles that you can do is have the most important keywords in the beginning at the very front now if you're interested how to even go about this entire process I have a free Google Ads playlist on my channel that I'll explain to you step by step how to even run Google Shopping Ads but when you are determining what title to write make sure to have the most important keywords at the very front for example if you want to rank for a specific company and followed by the search term wireless printer, make sure to have the terms wireless printer somewhere in the front. And I actually didn't write this out, but when somebody searches for a specific product, what Google does is it shows 25 to 30 characters of the title. So what I'm referring to is basically whatever titles show up below the product images on the Google shopping ads. Those titles that show up are only 25 to 30 characters, but I recommend that you have a total of 50 characters in your titles. But within those first 25 to 30 characters, make sure to introduce those most important keywords which you actually want to rank for. In this case, going back to the wireless printer example, you would want the terms wireless printer somewhere between those 25 to 30 first keywords and again that's simply because we're optimizing the title here we're wanting Google to understand who to show our ads to what our product is and all sorts of stuff so if you make Google's job easier it will make your life much more convenient and filled with tons of money because Google will know exactly who to show your ads to but that is exactly what you should be focusing on when it comes to optimizing your product pages for Google shopping ads and thus improving your quality scores number one is the title but after that number two the most important thing you want to be focusing on next is the image itself because along with the title people also take a look at the images in fact people look at the images first but the reason why I didn't include images as number one is simply because the title is for the algorithm itself while the images are for the people and the customers we want to satisfy the algorithm first so that the algorithm can satisfy us and show these products to the right people but once the products are shown to the right people the next step to really optimize your entire Google Shopping ads account and your products is basically focus on the image and whenever I recommend that you optimize your images with the Google Shopping Ads I recommend that you choose an image which is different from your competitors and in order to kind of illustrate as to what I exactly mean by saying choose a different image from your competitors I have opened up a very popular drop sharing product for you guys to show as an example so this product is the li photography light box basically it's something used in the photography niche by photographers and this was actually a popular drop sharing product before it's not that popular right now because of the competition but what I want to show you guys is basically the images that these people currently have so as you can see number one is the title so it's definitely important to focus on these titles but number two and it's something we as users and shoppers focus on is the image I mean the first thing I personally do when I search for something online is basically look at the image I don't even look at the title or the price until I find an image which is standing out of the crowd now here what I want you guys to notice is that Walmart is ranking number one for this specific keyword and one of the reasons why is first the title is really good and detailed but number two if you look at all of the images you can see that Walmart is the only one where the light box is actually in different colors and the first color that we see is red whereas if you look at the other light boxes there are def several different advertisers who currently have their product image set as the black one and there's also some with the white one the white one is the most popular as you can see over here but Walmart is number one simply because of the image and because it stands out of the crowd that means it's getting a higher click-through rate when a specific ad gets a higher click-through rate Google automatically thinks that that product is perfect for this audience and it pushes you're listing up towards the front. So that is exactly what has happened with this specific ad over here. But if we go to the second page, we can see that there are several drop shippers in the list. But for as you can see, this specific one, Prime Stash Store, clearly that's a drop shipping store. Along with that, another one that I saw recently was this one right here. It has review stars, but this is a drop shipping store as well. But as you can see, the drop shippers are using the same exact images which are stock images found on AliExpress. And by now you can see that none of these are actually standing out of the crowd. I mean, these are basically getting lost amongst the others and 
as a result their click-through rate is going to be very very low so that's why on number two i have images because if you don't have the right image no matter what you do you won't be able to increase your quality score and one of the most important factors for quality scores having a click-through rate of above one percent so having an image that stands out of the crowd as walmart does over here is going to lead to that click-through rate of above a one percent and increase your quality score so that is exactly why at number two i have images but along with the title and images there's one more thing that you guys need to be focusing on in order to really optimize your product page and make sure it is completely ready to make a killing with google ads and that is the description itself now if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that seo is a very very important part of the google shopping ads experience Google Shopping Ads definitely prefers listings and pages that have properly SEO optimized descriptions, titles, as I've been saying over and over again. But when it comes to the descriptions for Google Shopping Ads, what you want to definitely do every time you write your description is mention the title of the product two to three times within the description. If you do that for every product, your quality score is automatically going to increase because Google actually, believe it or not, has an easier time understanding who the audience is for that product if you just mention the title a few times. I highly recommend that you don't go over three because then Google starts penalizing you. But the main reason as to why we repeat the title two to three times is because if you have followed my tutorials and this specific video as well correctly, then you will have a title that is SEO rich, meaning it has tons of SEO optimized keywords, which have the highest search volume. And if you include those SEO keywords, meaning the entire title, two to three times within your description, Google is automatically going to have an easier time understanding who your audience is, what keywords to show it to, etc. Which is why I recommend you mention the title two to three times. Along with that though, what you want to also be doing is filling up the entire description with some SEO keywords. And in this case, I recommend that you have 20% of the description words be SEO optimized keywords. Meaning if you have a description with 200 to 300 words, 20 to 30 words should be SEO optimized keywords. And these keywords are something you find on the Google Keywords Planner tool. Basically, these are those with the higher search volume and are really relevant to your product. So once you do start implementing the correct descriptions, Google will definitely favor your ads more over your competitors and your quality score will automatically start to increase. But one thing I have not mentioned here is that another thing that really impacts your quality score is the bid that you set. If you have a really, really low bid, you're just not going to be able to be shown to as many search terms as possible. So along with these three things, you need to make sure that you have a high bid, but make sure that it's not too high because if you have a too high of a bid, you may not be profitable for quite some time. And figuring out the perfect bid for your account is something that is different for each account. It's just something that you're going to find through testing. Basically test the bid every three to seven days, increase it and then decrease it. See where you're getting the perfect amount of sales profitably. But these are the three main things that you need to have done for product page optimization. Number one is title followed by the images and finally the description. All of these are going to increase your quality score, which is then going to increase how well you rank among your competitors and basically get you more profitable. But if you found any type of value in this video, like always, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.